things are changing. I have to remember. Remember what? What's missing? Welcome to Solving the Mystery of Fromville. I'm your host, Selena, and today I'm going to review season three, episode six, called Scar Tissue. Fatima and Ellis making a big decision about her pregnancy. Boy fears for the future of his family. Tension rise in the Matthew house, and Randall opens up to Meryl about his fears. So, of course, Jim and Tabitha were arguing as usual, and I'm not going to go into deep about these two because I don't care and I am tired, okay? Throughout the seasons of season one, two, and now three, they stay arguing a lot, so I just don't care. FYI, the only person I like out of the Matthew family is Ethan, and I thought, you know, Tabitha is okay. She's not that bad in my opinion. Jay talks to Boy about the bottle tree, suggesting it might be part of the Dimension Rift, a bridge between realities that lets people move across dimensions. If that's true, and Tabitha has felt connected to the town long before seeing the tree, it raises the questions of whether she's linked to someone from the town's past. Now, many speculate that she could be related to Victor's mother, Miranda. Though not as the mother and daughter, some fans think that Tabitha and Victor might be siblings, but I think that would be too easy for us to figure something out like that. You know, from and the writers got to make it a little bit complicated for us. We also see Fatima and Ellis discussing whether to tell Christy about Fatima's pregnancy. Fatima's worry about feeling judged. Although given that everyone's experienced strange and phenomenal things, it's hard to imagine people reacting harshly. So Boy advised her to get an ultrasound and surprisingly, there is no baby visible. Now, despite that, I don't think the pregnancy is just in her head, okay? Perhaps it's only hidden because not everyone in the town can see certain things, especially if they aren't connected to the supernatural aspect of the town. And I know you guys are thinking like, Selena, we watched the same episode. She doesn't have a baby. I don't care. I think she's still pregnant, okay? I still think she has a baby in her belly. Meanwhile, Kenny chooses to move to Colony House, likely as a way to cope with the pain of losing his parents, avoiding constant reminders in his family home. I don't blame Kenny, you know? It seems like when he went to the home, it seems like his personality kind of changed a little bit. And I'm not saying it in a bad way, but it seems like his depression was kicking in and he's trying to not to have that because, you know, he's seen the picture of his mom and his dad. And I know that could be painful for him. That's why he wasn't ready to talk about it right now when Boyd approached him and asked him if he was okay. Victor, on the other hand, is determined to locate Jasper, and Henry joins him to protect his son. Victor eventually spot Jasper among the monsters, and it was so funny when the slow walker stated, if you keep coming down here, one of these days we make you stay. Meaning, don't bring your ass down here anymore, or you're going to be with us for good. <laughs> so Tabitha starts seeing the Nkui children again and these children haven't shown any intention to harm her so maybe they're trying to help her as Jade said I keep wondering why they only say one word each time maybe they have some message she needs to piece together herself Tabitha reveals she had a nightmare of this place when she was young and remembers the three red stones could this mean she's connected to Miranda in a deeper way Henry also suggested that Tabitha, like Miranda, could be the chosen one, yet we don't see anyone else in the town fit in that role. Elgin, meanwhile, sees a monster in the picture near Fatima and it whisper, I can save you, I can help you get back home. The question is, will Elgin fall for the offer like Sarah did or will he tell someone what he saw? Episode 6 is moving things along but keeps some big questions open. Is Tabitha somehow related to Miranda or are there two sides of the same entity? What are the kids trying to show or say to her? And what about Jasper? Where does he fit in all of this? Let me know your theories in the comments below. I would love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and until then, see you later.